Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. I'd like to show you um, a new feature that we have oh, showed up in the last couple of uh, weeks. And um, actually I'm in a team site in the document library. And uh, if I go to the three dots, I have all kinds of menus and things that I can do. And one of them is the automate. And under the automate, we have quick steps. So the idea is actually, if I go to quick steps create, I have all kinds of actions that I can do. <clears throat> Some will do auto automation without even using Power Automate. One of them actually is, but the rest you can do by yourself. Now, everything here is actually based on selecting one file or, or more. So it says for selected files. So the first one we will uh, demo will be to draft an email. So I click on this, and then what it says here, uh, show a command that will, when a selected uh, folder or file, I can draft an email, and who should I send it to? So I have a possibility to send it to modified by, created by, uh, these are the columns. And if I don't have any of these that I want to send, I can actually uh, just uh, type in and I can put uh, multiple names, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this is what happens. So we will select the file and it will automatically create a draft. Now I need to provide a name to this step. So I'll just call it send uh, a mail. And I could include someone in CC. In this case, it's not relevant. And I could write a subject. So I will say, uh, just to let you know. Um, if I want, I can include an item link to the message. Yes, I want to do it. Um, so I'll create it. Now what happens is I will have here a list of all of the quick steps I have. I can turn it on or off, and I can also edit it and change things. And if I want to delete, I could delete. In this case, let's keep it. Now let's see what happens. So if I mark one of the files here, now I can go to the three dots and go to automate. And now I have uh, this action that I can run. So if I click on this, it opened up the Outlook. It added the people that I wanted to send it to, and it created the draft mail. In this case, I saw they make they made a hyperlink, but in this case, it was not uh, a hyperlink. So I just uh, clicked to to go down a line, and uh, it's just a preparation. So I'm not sure how uh, when I would use it, but this is currently the functionality. Uh, the second option we want to demonstrate is if I'll go back to Quick Steps and Create, I will uh, start a Teams chat. So as you see here, actually all of the buttons are the same. I just can switch between all of these and choose what I want. So start a new chat. So if I uh, select uh, a file or a folder, it, uh, people I put here based on the column or the name will it will open that team chat. So if I put here Ami and I will put Alex and I need to give a name, I'll call it uh, chat in teams. It will also uh, link the message body. Not sure what it means. But let's see. So it added now a uh, chat in Teams. So if I now go to one of the files, this time I'll go to the three dots and I will look for automate. And I don't see it here, maybe because I selected two. Let's go again. Now you see I have the, the first one we run, the sender mail, and now we have chat in Teams. Now what it will do is actually open the chat 
between me and um, the person I stated. And uh, this is what it does, actually. Uh, it opened up on, on the Alex. So actually, there's a chat between Ami and Alex. Let's go to the next one. So we'll go and choose to go to automate, quick steps, and we'll create the next one, which is set a value. Set a value is I will set a value to any of the files or folders that um, I select. And what column should I use? Let's say the column status. And what value do I want to put? So because this is a drop down, it gives me all of the possibilities, the status. So I want to set, set it to closed. And we will give a name to the step, step set status to closed. And we will create it. And actually, now, if I want to test it, this works for multiple um, selections. So I'll just uh, select all of them. I can select all of them, actually. And I will go to. Let's select just some. Where should I see it? I sh it worked for me last time. I will go to automate. And as you can see, set a uh, status to close. I'll click on it. And now you saw this has been changed. So we're nearly at the end. Let's go demonstrate all of them because we have much more to show you and um, execute a flow means that I will select some file and it will execute flow. What I need to do is go to the Power Automate and after in the URL of the Power, uh, Power Automate, after the flow, this what's marked is the ID of the Power Automate. I will copy this and I, I will go back and click on Execute Flow. I'll give a name, step, run, flow. And I will paste the ID, put a header text, uh, demo text. And the flow button will say, send uh, mail. Now what will happen is actually, if I select a document, and I will go to automate. I have here the send a mail. Okay. No, this is not the one. It's confusing, but we will choose and uh, go to automate. And now you see set run flow. So this is the one that we we running, and it's now activating the flow that I have um, set. You see, this is the text send a mail. And what the flow does is actually sends a mail. So you see, I now received it. And um, this, this runs any flow uh, I choose to. Let's continue. And we're going to the next one. Quick steps, create. Now, this one, these two I really like. So you can either move or copy a file. So it says show a command that will for each selected file or folder move to. And I need to choose where to move it. So what I can do is actually I can move it within the same library. Or maybe I want to send it to a different library. Or I can also go to a different site or OneDrive and decide where, where to put it. In this case, for the example, let's move it to uh, Resumir. And actually, 
I will even create a new folder that will be called a demo moved files. Let's give it a color. And we actually selected it. So if we choose a, a file or a folder, it will move it to this location. Let's give it a name. Move files to other lib. And let's see how it works. Notice how many I have here, and it's really, really cool. So I will take this uh, nose of uh, IT issues, and maybe I'll take also this one. And what I'll do is, as you saw, I will, I wonder if it works for multiple or not, but let's look at one. And here we have actually move uh, files or, uh, and now what we can do is also see if it works if we do it on a folder that has multiple files within it. Automate, move. Let's just see if we have here any documents. If not, let's add. So here we are. Let's just take these. And uh, we will activate it on the folder. So actually, I think it will move totally the whole um, folder itself with the files. So I will go here and I will say automate move files or folders. Now you will see the user doesn't care where it's moved. All he needs to do is to choose the, this action. And if we go now to resume, we will see that uh, inside uh, this folder, we have this document. Now, what we can do is actually um, go back to the last option. In this case, we will do it in case, instead of uh, moving, we will copy. So we will choose copy and let's put the, destination. In this case, I want actually to move it to a different site. So I'm now in IT help desk. Let's go to demo team and let's just put it in demo and I will select. Let's give a name, copy to demo team. Let's create it and we have quite a lot. So I will take this copilot and actually I will say automate and I will say copy to a demo. What it will do is take this file or folder and move it. If I want to go and see actually, uh, we will go to demo site, demo teams, and we probably will put it here in the documents and we put it in demo and this is the copilot file. Voila. So, and you see it was changed. So we have lots, quite a lot of uh, possibilities. Uh, you need to choose when to use it or not. Uh, it's easy for the user. They don't, you need to set it up once and then the rest uh, will be done. You just need to train them how to do it. Let's say any files that are uh, old or not relevant, just put them in an archive and the move or copy would do that. So hopefully you learned something new and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.